Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use FFmpeg on your Mac operating system. So FFmpeg is a powerful open source software suite that includes a set of libraries and programs for handling multimedia data. And it's widely used for tasks related to audio and video processing. So for example, you want to convert a .avi file to mp4 file, you can use ffmpeg command to do that. So let's see how we can install ffmpeg. So first of all, open your favorite browser. And when you search for ffmpeg, you will see uh, this uh, link here, which is ffmpeg.org. This is the official link of uh, ffmpeg. And when you go inside this website, you will be able to see this download button. And then you have the option to download this .tar.xz file, which is uh, essentially a compressed file, which you can extract. And then you can add this file into your binary folders. But I'm going to show you an easy way of installing FFmpeg. And that is by using a package manager called Brew. So if you haven't heard about Brew, just search for Homebrew on your uh, browser. And the first link which will appear here will be from brew.sh. And then you just need to click on this brew.sh link here. And then to install Brew, you just need to just copy this uh, command by just pressing on this copy button. And then you just need to paste this in your terminal. And so let me just uh, command V here and then press enter, which is going to ask for your max password. So I'm going to provide my max password, which I use to log into my Mac operating system and then press enter. And then it's going to install homebrew. So here it says press enter to continue or any other key to abort. So I'm going to press enter here and it's going to start the installation of Homebrew. So we just need to wait for a few seconds here. So now Brew is installed on my Mac operating system and I can see this message which says run Brew help to get started. So once you have installed Homebrew and when you give this command, which is Brew space help for example, and then press enter, it's going to complain that Brew is not uh, found by this ZSH terminal. So if you are using the newer version of Mac OS, the default terminal on Mac OS is ZSH and ZSH is not able to recognize the brew command because the brew binary path is not set in our .ZSH RC. So now what you need to do is in your home folder, so make sure you are in your home folder and if you are not sure, just write CD and then press enter and this will bring you to the home folder on your terminal. Here give ls space uh, hyphen al command which is going to show you uh, all the hidden files and also other folders on your home directory. Here I don't see .zshrc file so I need to create a new .shrc in my Mac operating system. If you see .zshrc in uh, this list, then you just need to open that and then just add the line, which I'm going to show you, right? So first of all, we need to know where Brew installs itself, right? So generally Brew installs itself in a directory called forward slash opt. It creates the directory called homebrew in opt uh, folders. So opt forward slash homebrew and then the homebrew binary will be in this directory. So when I do ls, I can see this brew uh, binary and this is not recognized yet by zsh, right? So to uh, add this, let me clear the terminal and then I can give this command, which is nano and then dot zshrc. So we need to create this dot zshrc file 
and then add the export for the binary directory for the brew. So I'm going to just uh, press enter, which is going to create this .zshrc. And then here I just type export space path is equal to and in the double quotes you need to provide that path which is opt forward slash home brew forward slash bin and then you just need to give this colon symbol and then give dollar in capital path and then close your double quotes. Now I'm going to give you this line in the description of this video so you can directly copy this command and paste it in your uh, .zshrc file. Once you are done, press Ctrl X on your keyboard. So press Ctrl X. And once you see this kind of output, which says save modified buffer, press Y key on your terminal, which is going to save your changes into the file which you have created. And then press enter, which is going to exit out of the nano tool, right? Now, once you are done, you can again give ls space hyphen al command to verify if everything is working. So it should be ls and not la. Let me give this command and you can see this dot zshrc file is created. And then when I do uh, cat dot zshrc, it's going to show you the content of that dot zsh rc file which is this line which we have added once that's done the last command we need is the source command so just write source and then dot zsh rc what this command does is it loads the binary uh, path which you have ex uh, exported in the current terminal itself right so you don't need to close the terminal and restart the terminal once again press enter which is going to source this dot zshrc file once you are done let me clear the terminal and then let's try the brew help command once again so i'm going to just write brew and then help command and then press enter and now this time brew is working so i'm going to give this command which is brew install ffm peg and then press enter which is going to install this package so at this point just wait for a few seconds and after a few seconds you will see a, a message that that package is installed on your uh, mac operating system so now once that package is installed once again let me clear the terminal when I give ffmpeg command and then press enter, it's going to recognize this ffmpeg command and then we can use this ffmpeg to, uh, let's say, convert your media files into other formats, for example. Now let's see how we can use ffmpeg. So to use ffmpeg, I'm going to go to the home page of uh, ffmpeg.org and to use ffmpeg for converting your files, it's really simple. You just need to give ffmpeg command, then space hyphen i, and then your input file, and then the name of your output file. So let's see this in action. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open a folder where I have uh, a video file. So let me open this uh, folder here. And here I have a video file. So this file is sample.mov file and I want to convert it to the mp4 file. So I will open the terminal and then I will just right click on this file and go to get more info. And I just want to see where this uh, file is located. I'm going to copy the path of that file and then I'm going to cd and then paste the path of that file. And then I'm going to do ls and I can see this sample.mov command. So I'm going to give this ffmpeg command, then space hyphen i, and then the name of your input file. In my case, it's 
sample.mov file and then the name of my uh, output file which I want which will be let's say sample.mp4 file okay so when I give this command it's going to create the mp4 file so let me open this folder and this command line side by side so you can see uh, on the right hand side this is the folder and when I give this command it start the conversion and you can see the sample.mp4 file is created but you need to wait for some time until this command is finished right so you can see this command is still going on so you need to wait for this command to finish and then only your full file will be converted into the mp4 file or any other format you desire that's how you can uh, download and install ffmpeg on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video